The New Zealand government confirmed that AUKUS Alliance, founded by Australia, Britain and the United States, has discussed participation in non-nuclear part. New Zealand Defence Minister Andrew Little said, We have offered the opportunity to talk about whether we can participate or participate in the two non-nuclear the direction of this column. A week after New Zealand's Foreign Minister Nan Aia Mahuta visited best Chinese diplomats in military context between Australia, Britain and United States. Australia's nuclear energy navy submarines focuses on Australia. The three-part agreement includes the sharing of developed military technologies, including quantum calculation and artificial intelligence. New Zealand was not offered because the batteries would not join and accept one because of his anti-nuclear position. AUKUS membership will be type of required to protect defense personnel, usually awareness of field, so surveillance technology and radio that allows us to do so. This month, the Indo-Pacific region met with U.S. National Security Coordinator Kurt Campbell. During visit to Beijing last week, Mahuta said that Chinese officials announced the concerns of worries. Is we have accepted our position on the subject. We are not part of these arrangements, he said. New Zealand has other concerns about AUKUS, but it may endanger Rarotonga Treaty, which defines the large areas of Pacific from nuclear weapons. Mahuta said, our concern is not sea militarization of Pacific, approval of Rarotonga Treaty, and that our guarantees from Australia are found to have been gained in relation these regulations. China is against AUKUS, where China's spokesman Wenbin, a spokesman for foreign affairs, summarizes China's violent concern and solid opposition. It is not clear whether China has the same concerns about the non-nuclear parts of AUKUS. Last week, New Zealand opposition foreign foreign spokesman Jerry Brownlee expressed concerns that AUKUS would force and force the ANZAC forces to work together. On Tuesday, while trying to criticize the agreement, he took back his comments, saying, absolutely not. Australia will make decisions for Australia, Brown Brownlee said. Little said that foreign or local voices against the agreement will not be a factor in potential membership. Former New Zealand Prime Minister Helen Clark said that it is not compared to the interests of New Zealand. With AAP.